It just seemed from our vantage point, it, uh, it seemed like it was more of Wisconsin playing really well tonight than maybe us not playing as well as last night, but I guess we'll get the coach's thought, thought on that first. Your thoughts on the game tonight, Coach? Well, I, I, I think it was a combination of both. We, we, uh, we gave them an awful lot of room that we didn't give them last night. Um, our, our defense was certainly timid to start the game, absolutely. There were guys that didn't want to handle a puck, and then I think that continued a bit as the game went on. Um, our gaps were bad. We gave them a lot of space. Um, the disappointing thing, I think Wisconsin's a, a pretty good team, but I think they're still a ways away from, from really being a, a, a high-end team. They may get there by the, by the end of the year. Um, they certainly have skill, and when you let them play with that skill, um, you know, then things are going to happen. And we, we have to figure out, I think, a little bit of what we are. That's, that's the bottom line. It's, you know, it's, it's frustrating. It's embarrassing. Um, you know, it's a lot of things, I'm sure, and I sure hope the players feel the same way. It's two, two weekends in a row where we've been a, a, a team that can play with anybody if we play together on a Friday night. And, uh, and it's a team that absolutely looks, I mean, that, that will have struggle with anybody anybody in college hockey on a, on a Saturday night playing the way that we played with loose gaps and soft hockey and and it's almost you know I almost got the feeling where we expect they're c gonna come out hard and we don't want to face that challenge you know what I mean we want to and I told them at, the fr at, at first period there I said fellas that during one of the uh, TV timeouts I said this isn't uh, ultimate fighting no one's going out there to try to knock you out play the game enjoy the game play the game do your job play off each other and develop some some chemistry and some synergy out there um but uh i thought the best really probably the best spurt we had of, of any kind was in the first probably 10 minutes of the third period you look at uh, their power play opportunities tonight coach and they just seem to find ways to get those puck through and they were obviously screening right in front of jerusalem all night long well you you know you see it as well as i do as well as everybody else does of the eight goals they got on the weekend six of them came from shots from the point um, and then the two others, the other one tonight was uh, that rebound goal on the power play, got through and went back right out to uh, whoever was in the slot and put it in. So um, blocking shots is, is really not an art as much as, as a desire. Our, our shots didn't get through. You know, and, and we've, had that, you know, we've had that trouble for, for, I mean, ever since Sturros, and, and we had it before, but ever since Sturros and, and, uh, and Neville left, you know, they were, and, and you had Cliff Watson back there, and pucks didn't get through. And uh, but but now they do and and you know and, and when the goalie can't see them, it, it makes it just for they're just they're, those goals really just take a lot of wind out of your sails to me. It seemed right from the start that we weren't moving our feet and, and winning those battles. We won every battle last night. It mm -hmm. seemed like and it seemed like we had the puck on our stick all last night. They seemed to have the puck yeah. on their stick all tonight. I, I agree. It, it was numbers on the puck and it was uh, every all of us everybody that saw the game saw it the same way. There's, I mean it's it's. Being in position to transition, it's guys, too many guys in soft ice. You know, very very similar to, to at Duluth, we where we worked the puck up soft ice, and our D wanted off their sticks in a hurry. Our for, forwards weren't available in a hurry. Um, Wisconsin fought for for better ice position than we did, and that's, I mean, it's 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 disappointing. You know, the, here's here's the deal though. I, I think it's within the team to play better. Um, I think the team has to decide as a group that they're going to play better, and it's up to me to get that performance out of them um, and that compete level out of them. But, you know, I, I, saw, I saw just what you saw, and just like in Duluth, right from the very first face-off of the game when they when – they, and, and Wisconsin didn't – they didn't charge us. You know, they didn't charge us. They just – you know, I guess we have to be, you know, really patient with our young defensive core, but our forwards really have to help them out. Our forwards are our strength. And when they're waiting, you know, creating a lot of ice and, and giving bad gaps that our D can handle and things, it, it just makes the game very tough. And last night, we were into it. Last night, we were around the puck. Last night, we had numbers. Last night, we followed the puck well. We had good second man. We came out of the battles with pucks. We, you know, and tonight, we just didn't even, we didn't get there. A couple of bright spots. Boy, Brian Hellenin with uh, a nice assist, a nice goal here tonight. He is off to a great start. I know you keep pounded it into us and how good he is and, and you don't have to pound it because boy you, you can see it on the ice every shift he's out there well it's his character it's his character not that others don't have it but it's it's just in him he, again quiet um quiet type of a guy that 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 takes it all in and and 
and has good focus. And, and he's still a freshman, though. He still turned some pucks over tonight yeah. and still had to get his feet moving a little bit, too. Um, you know, a bright spot, actually, for the first time this year in the, in the four games. The, in the third period, we finally saw a little bit of Justin Misiak. Mm-hmm. Like, I thought he moved his feet a bit, and, and uh, he did some good things for us in third period. And we're going to need that. Uh, we're going to need that balance. That line's got to get a little productive for us. All right, Coach, we'll look forward to your show on Monday to recap this split weekend against the Wisconsin Badgers. And not much time to rest. we got to head right, right back on the road for six more games, yeah. including Huntsville. Yeah, we'll be leaving Wednesday morning. I want to congratulate the, uh, Ole and the football team and the staff on a great win today. Um, proud of those guys. Uh, uh, soccer won. Proud of those guys or those gals. Um, volleyball won. Proud of them. So And the women's um, basketball wi- team, of course, won against St. Norbert today, too. Perfect, perfect. So great job. Um, uh, we're so proud to, uh, of the effort that they put in. Thanks, Coach. Thank you. Safe travel.